guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about coop training chickens, teaching them to lay and sleep in their coop when they're free range. Now be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos about animals. And if you have questions about chickens, leave them down below in the comments or go follow me over on Instagram where I do a lot of Q and A's and can answer your animal questions. Now you do want to train your chickens to go in and sleep in their coop at night because this is going to protect them from predators like foxes and raccoons and it's also going to keep them out of the weather like wind and snow so this is where they're going to be safe. Now it's actually pretty easy to train chickens to come back to their coop and train them where to sleep every night if you know what you're doing. For the best results you do want to train chickens when they're young or at least as soon as you get them. So it's a lot more difficult to train chickens where to roost if they're already roosting in a certain spot. It can sometimes be almost impossible to break them of this and get them to roost in a new place. So that's why you should train them from the very beginning before they develop habits. Now it's pretty simple. Basically you just need to keep your chickens confined to their coop for one to two weeks. This is how I do it. I put a cage around the over easy chicken coop for at least two weeks. You can also use a very large dog crate placed in front of the door or you can fence it in the way that I did. This is temporary and obviously would not stand up against a predator at all. Probably wouldn't even stand up against a storm. But the idea here is to give the chickens a small space to walk around in during the day and keep them next to their coop so that they learn to sleep inside at night. They will not want to sleep outside, there's nowhere to roost, so they will be forced to go into the coop. After a few weeks, depending on how old they are, they will learn to return to the coop and all this fencing can be removed and the chickens will still come back. Now I recommend two weeks for adults, longer for younger chickens under six months. They take longer to learn how to roost. If you have chicks with a hen, that actually makes it easier to train them because the hen will actually teach the chicks. You can train the hen in two weeks or if she's already trained, she will return to the coop with her chicks and they will learn that that is where they're supposed to roost. So that's cool, that saves you a lot of time there. It's best to do this in cold weather. It's easier to confine more chickens in a small area when the temperature is cooler. But like right now, it's pretty hot, but the trees provide shade and the chickens can also go under the coop to avoid the heat. Now, let's say your chickens are already trained and you get a new chicken. Oftentimes, the new chicken will follow the others into the coop. I got a silky rooster recently and for the first four nights, I would pick him up in the evening, walk him to the coop and show him to go in through the chicken door. He got it and he started doing it by himself. So he learned pretty quickly. I also did this with a copper marin hen that I got and she learned very quickly as well. Then she had her chicks and now she takes her chicks into the coop at night as well. Another thing you can do is provide food inside the coop. Feed the chickens in the evening and put their food inside the coop. When they go in, you can close the door. You can also provide treats like mealworms or vegetables in the coop in the evening. Next, let's talk about training them to lay in the coop. Of course, while you are training them to roost inside the coop, the adult hens will also be forced to lay inside the coop as well. So this helps with training them. You also want to provide clean nest boxes. I like to use hay in the nest boxes because the wood shavings get kicked out so easily. And most importantly is to place fake eggs inside the nesting boxes. Some people use golf balls. You can use decorative eggs from around Easter time. I get my eggs from Hobby Lobby because they're like $2 each. You just place one or two eggs in each box and the chickens will see the eggs and realize that that's where they should lay their eggs. If you can't buy fake eggs, you can also get real eggs, mark them with a pencil or a pen, and leave them in the nest boxes. That way you know which eggs are fresh and which ones are the decoys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and also follow me over on Instagram. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!